I've got a 96 Chevy Tahoe. I'm gonna use it to point out to you the location of some important fuses for the operation of your power windows as well as your power locks. So everything can be found behind this cover here which you remove by pulling out on that little tab right there. And if you look at the back, you'll see there's some spare fuses and a fuse puller. Now the fuse that provides illumination for the switch is gonna be this 20 amp fuse right here. You can check that out. And the power that comes for the windows and the door locks themselves, it's not from a fuse, but from a circuit breaker. So this bottom circuit breaker is necessary for the windows. So you can pull it right out. You can't visually inspect it as though you would a fuse, but you can test it with a voltmeter. So like I said, the bottom one provides power for the window motor. The top one provides power for the lock actuators. And so you can actually switch them as a troubleshooting step. One other suggestion I would have is, you know, every time you open and close a door, you're flexing all of these wires here that go for the motors and the switches. One thing you can try doing is you can hold a switch while you open and close the door. And if, it, if there's a certain position that you hold the door in where it starts working, then you can be reasonably confident that you probably have a bad connection in that wire harness. Um, other than that, your best bet is to start removing door panels to see if you're getting power to the motors or the, the uh, switches. So yeah, I hope this info was helpful for you guys. Please be sure to let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, any advice for troubleshooting the windows or locks on your Chevy Tahoe.